Hey, good afternoon. How are all of my Scorpio soul family members out there doing? I hope you're all doing great. My name is Morty. I'm excited to have you guys here for today's tarot read. So today, uh, the read is going to be for the sign of Scorpio, and this is going to be for the month of April 2019. So Scorpio, we just want to see which prominent energies you have lying ahead of you next month, right? So that we can better prepare you on stepping into the month, better prepare to attract those positive, high vibrating frequencies that will be available for you, and also better prepare to avoid some of the limiting, lower vibrating frequencies, overall enhancing bettering your experience in life, right? Giving you the opportunity to go in and create, manifest the way you'd like to. Some great advantages, right? It's kind of like getting a forecast, right, for the following month. What looks, what, what the weather ahead looks like. It's very helpful. Um, so the background music I have playing is opening your heart chakra, it's the love frequency. I felt that it was right and appropriate to play that in the background during Scorpio's read. So we're going to go with that. Scorpio is a great uh, zodiac sign. Um, so my son is a Scorpio. Uh, and, I, you know, I just, I love seeing the Scorpio in him come to the surface, right? Uh, I mean, he just screams Scorpio. Scorpios can just effortlessly learn to grab the limelight, right? You don't even necessarily mean to, or you just have this ability to be able to do it. You can be very focused. Scorpios are very brave, right? Very brave, very courageous. I mean, I admire my son and all the courage that, that he has. It scares me sometimes, to be honest with you. It really does. Um, they can be uh, ambitious, right? Very ambitious, uh, jealous sometimes secretive, maybe a little bit manipulative, a little resentful, right? So anyways, those are just some of the fun qualities, uh, those positive qualities, as well as the limiting, challenging qualities. There's no such thing as bad qualities. I just don't believe that. Because it's these, all these qualities within us that enrich our lives, and provide us unique individual experience, and also everybody around us unique individual experience. So Scorpio, let's see what's going on for you in the month of April. So your sun sign may be Scorpio, or perhaps your moon arising is in Scorpio, um, or maybe you're just checking up on a Scorpio, or you may just be intuitively guided to be here. It doesn't matter, either way, I'm very happy to have you here. I'm happy to learn that so many of you are, I'm seeing more and more of you that are being intuitively guided, right, to have come across this channel, uh, come across some of the reads. It could have been um, a letter or a number or word that just pulled you, or an emoji, right, that just pulled you in, that said, hey, check this out, take a look. There's maybe just a feeling that something beneficial for you would be here, right? Um, so I'm very happy to have you here. So the first thing I want to do, Scorpio, is pull an affirmation card to see which affirmation would be best suited for you to hear, taking you into your tarot read today. Okay. Very appropriate for Scorpio. Beauty. The number four. Number four represents a firm foundation, right? Solid footing, solid grounding, stability and security. Beauty, I have a form which is divine. I allow what is within to shine. <clears throat> I have a form which is divine. I allow what is within to shine. I have a form which is divine. I allow what is within to shine. It's, it's powerful, I can, I can feel it. I can feel the truth of this for you, Scorpio. Right? Giving yourself the opportunity to allowing let your light so shine, right? Let your inner light shine. Allow all that inner beauty within you out. Being comfortable in your own skin. That's 
that's one of the great things about Scorpios, as you guys, for the, you know, so many of you, you are very comfortable in your own skin, which gives you the ability to feel secure and stable so that you can let your light so shine. Okay, Scorpio, let's see what's going on for you in the month of April, 2019. So I pre-shuffled my decks, but I like to shuffle them one more time. Then I like to split the deck three times, pull the bottom card to see what the opening energy is, taking us into Scorpio's tarot read today. <clears throat> Beautiful. Scorpio, you have the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands would be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, a queen energy, so female, but it doesn't have to be. Uh, so there could be some, I'm like, so, uh, there could be some Scorpios that, uh, you could be in a relationship with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, uh, or this could be your moon rising sign or moon or rising or both. Her companion is the lion representing power and strength. I mean, she knows her place in this world, right? This is a very, this queen is very comfortable in her own skin, right? She's, she has outer beauty as well as inner beauty. She recognizes both within herself. This queen allows, her to, allows herself to let her light so shine. So much so that she has this magnetic charm to her, right? This ability to sweep both men and women off their feet, right? They're just pulled in and drawn to her energy. It's a great energy for you, Scorpio. It's pretty exciting energy. I can feel the excitement in that card. Okay. Scorpio, you have the Hierophant, uh, which is the card of Taurus. So some of you could be in a relationship with a Taurus, or you could have a pretty significant relationship in your life with a Taurus. This represents seeking spiritual wisdom, right? Connecting with source, connecting with your higher self. The Hierophant is of universal belief, right? He doesn't subscribe to any specific belief, represented by all the symbols of all the different religions in the world on the wall behind him. He doesn't, he's of universal truth. So this could represent, it's, it depends on whatever your faith is in this world, right? It could be your priest, your rabbi, seeking spiritual wisdom and counsel. It could be a spiritual leader, right? It could be a yoga instructor. <laughs> Not sure why I said that, but um, I think I was supposed to say it. Anyways, um, so seeking spiritual wisdom from somebody you esteem and look up to spiritually. This can also represent connecting with your higher self, right? listening to your inner feeling, your own intuition. Okay, Scorpio, beautiful. You have a beautiful beginning to look forward to. This is the Ace of Cups. Cups represent emotions, feeling, and love. So, Scorpio, you have a beginning starting for you in April that you're really going to love and be passionate about. For some of you, this could be a romantic kind of relationship. For others, uh, you may already be in a relationship and this may just be upping the stakes, right? It's getting a little more serious, maybe moving in together, right? Going steady, right? Exclusively. For some, it's marriage. For some, it's, it's a new job something that you love, that you're passionate about. Whatever this is for you, Scorpio, you love it. All right, tell me more. Okay, I've seen this card come up a lot in readings, for the April readings graduation. So Scorpio, this is you completing something in your life, coming to completion. By this it means 
that you've learned all the lessons that are meant for you to be learned, right? For you to learn from this experience. This can be an ending of a person, place, or thing. It's the ending of a journey, journey that you've been on. The figure in the card sits in her lotus pose, listening to the arm of the universe. The world sits in the lotus flower. Lotus flower is a beautiful flower that lives and thrives and survives in the muck. Extreme conditions, harsh elements, I don't know, maybe all factors that were part of this journey, this completion for you, Scorpio. Pain and progress, I mean, that's what's coming to mind right now, right? I'm just, that's what I keep feeling. It's just pain and progress, pain and progress, whatever that means to you, Scorpio. I think there was some pain, right? And there was all kinds of progress on your journey, represented by these bright lights. Illuminating, right? Maybe they're fireflies. They're beautiful, though. Okay, Scorpio. Beautiful. You have the Wheel of Fortune. This represents change. Change coming into your atmosphere. So anytime this this energy shows up in a reading, right? what I can't emphasize enough is, okay, so Scorpio, you have change coming into your life, right? We have lower vibrating changes, and then we have higher vibrating changes, right? And the higher vibrating changes are the, the more exciting, fulfilling changes, right? What is it that determines what kind of change Scorpio has coming in their life? You do. You have absolute control over this. And right now, you have a great heads up in this, this reading to forecast this for you. So, this is a time for you to live life with passion. This is a time for you to thrive. This is a time for you to let go of past grievances. Let go of past disappointments, heartbreaks, pain, suffering. Ill feelings that you may feel towards other people, judgments, opinions, right? Let them go. This is a time to just open yourself up. Open yourself up completely, right? Receiving unconditional love from the universe. Raising your vibration to a higher fre frequency. So when this change comes into your life, Scorpio, you're bringing in and resonating beautiful changes. And I think you're going to do it. I really do, I feel that I, there's a lot of happiness associated with this card for you. Okay, we now have the Four of Swords. Four of Swords, it's a good energy. This represents the energy of taking time to rest and recuperate. Like the figure in the card, she's been in battle. She's chosen to lie down her swords, right? All but one of them. She's still hanging on to one. That always stands out to me for some reason. Um, but her eyes are closed, so it looks like she is resting. Okay, Scorpio coming in under the Hierophant. Card of Taurus, we have the High Priestess. High Priestess, this is your intuition, right? This is the universe, Scorpio, letting you know your intuition is speaking to you, right? It's guiding you. It's what's taking you on your journey. Journey. It's what. Uh, it's what has been guiding you on this journey that's coming to a completion in your life, right? Following your intuition, trusting your inner feeling. I'm an Aquarius, so I'm in my head a lot, right? So this is just the opposite of that. This is staying out of your head. Page of Wands. Page of Wands is coming in under the Ace of Cups. So pages are messengers. This is news, right? Fire sign. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Probably a younger energy than, than you, though. Um, 
bringing in a message, right? This could be the message of this loving beginning, right? This news of this beautiful beginning. Uh, it's a very creative energy, right? So, Scorpio, you could be receiving a, however this message comes to you. It may come to you in a very clever manner, creative manner. Okay, Scorpio, we have the Five of Wands. Uh, Five of Wands is coming in under the World card. Uh, Five of Wands, this can be a limiting energy. This can represent the energy of arguing, you know, uh, exchanging differences in opinions, right? Go back and forth. The lions are fighting. The three men with sticks are fighting, right? Nobody's really out to hurt the other person, but it's, it's a little bickering back and forth. <clears throat> That's what the card means by itself. All right, Scorpio, tell me more. Okay. Have the tower uh, tower tower moments so the tower moments they happen this is this represents the universe stepping into Scorpio's world represented by the lightning coming out of the sky striking the tower right the towers in tumultuous waters towers coming down so this is the universe right Scorpio stepping into your life stepping into your world and it's it's different for each and every one of you right but this is the universe's way of moving parts and pieces around in your in your world in a way that creates opportunity for newness and change i'm not feeling a lot of heaviness in this tower moment for you scorpio right so i don't think this is anything to dread or fear by any means right i think this is part of your journey this is uh maybe freeing you up to step into your next journey after the world it is coming in after the world and it's coming in under the will of fortune well that's interesting so Scorpio it's for some of you these changes right that are coming into your your atmosphere <clears throat> for some of you these are gonna be pretty major changes right they're really gonna feel like they're shaking your world up right in some ways, it may feel a little bit like a tower moment. It's all beautiful, right? It's all beautiful. But these are some pretty big changes for some of you. you now have the Empress uh, it's a great energy the Empress she's the mother of all things earthly right she represents unconditional love and nourishment she represents rebirth right surrounded by butterflies if you look closely you can see she's with child right so some of you may be experiencing pregnancy if so congratulations She's balanced with one foot in the water, one foot on dry land. Uh, she is standing underneath the pomegranate tree, right, representing fertility. So, again, I'm circling back, back to the pregnancy. Um, yeah, so, I mean, what I'm feeling in this, this can be the birth of a child, right? It can also be the birth of some new ideas, new experiences, new journey. The important thing with this energy and this card is uh, the Empress, before she could ever love anybody outside of herself, she needed to adapt and feel that sense of love for herself first. That's coming in under the Four of Swords. <clears throat> Scorpio, tell me more. 
too many cards. Too many cards again. Scorpio, tell me more. What else do you want to show us? Okay, interesting. So, energy taking us out of your tarot today. We have the Five of Swords. Uh, Five of Swords, this is unlimiting energy. Uh, this represents the energy of feeling like you were stabbed in the back. Two swords, right? Maybe on two occasions. <clears throat> What's standing out to me now is the healing, right? The healing that's found in the center there. I don't know what I'm feeling for you, Scorpio. I feel like this is a past energy. Um, yeah, I'm feeling this is a past energy. This is con this is somehow connected to to your graduation, right? To this completion that's taking place in your life, right? Um, in order for you to grow and expand in the ways that the universe saw fit for you, you needed to you needed to go through this energy, right? You needed to feel of that. It forced you to go inward, right? It forced you to force you to accept responsibility and to be accountable to look outside of your outside of yourself yeah I think that's what it meant for you Scorpio which was a very important lesson for you to learn in your journey but yeah I'm not feeling any negative energy with this card at all I'm only feeling peace right now What I'm feeling for you, Scorpio, is I think for many of you, this was the this was the most difficult part of your journey, right? I was feeling this, right? Feeling this energy, this disconnect. Okay, Scorpio, I have your tarot read done now. Now I need to take a couple moments. I need to look at the cards, right? And see where they are in terms of relationship, one with the other. And then I can uh, I need to feel what they're what they're trying to tell me, and then I can share your read with you. So hang on just a few moments. Enjoy the soothing background sounds for a moment, or you can fast forward. I mean, Scorpio, I have to say right now, this is a fantastic read, right? A beautiful read for you. It's just an amazing amount of growth, right? And expansion that I'm seeing and that I'm feeling from your read. Scorpio, first thing I want to point out, right? Affirmation taking you into your read is beauty, right? And what I see in, in, in your read, right? This graduation, this completion, I see it giving you the opportunity to recognize your inner beauty. <clears throat> I see two fives. These are the only limiting energies that are in your read, right? Five of swords and the five of wands. These energies were part of your journey, part of something you needed to feel and experience, right? In order to go inward, in order for Scorpio to rise. Important lessons that were learned here. I have to mention this, right? For some of you, this could be twin flame related. Um, certainly soulmate, right? I mean, this, this five of, whatever happened here, right? Could have happened with uh, somebody that you really love. 
that's why it hurt so badly, causing argument, resistance of some sort. <clears throat> taking you into your read today, right? Queen of Wands, which is beautiful energy. Scorpio, you're very passionate, right? This is your energy. Uh, for some of you, you're in a relationship with a fire sign. Uh, but it's surrounding yourself, you're stepping into April, looking for passion, looking for excitement. Just want to get fired up. Scorpio, you're being encouraged to continue. And I say continue because I think many of you have been listening to your intuition, listening to your higher self, speaking to you. It's been, it's been what's taken you on your journey, right? This journey that you're graduating from. Trusting your feeling, trusting your intuition. I don't know, Scorpio, what I want to say right now is let it take you the rest of the way home. Wherever home is. Whatever home means to you. Scorpios, you have a beautiful beginning to look forward to in April, right? It's a beginning that you really love a lot. For some of you, it's a romantic relationship. For others, it's work-related, friendship-related, hobby-related family, sibling related. Right? It's a beautiful beginning. It's a start for you. It's something that you're excited about. There's a lot of creativity. I don't know why I'm saying that, right? But there's all kinds of creativity behind this loving beginning that uh, you have coming into your atmosphere, Scorpio. News of this could be coming, right, by way of a fire sign, younger energy. At least reaching out like a younger energy. Scorpio, congratulations, right at the center of your reading, you have the world card, right? You are graduating. This journey in your life, coming to an end, coming to a completion, letting you know that you've learned all the lessons that are meant for you to learn on this lesson, on this journey. What comes after the end of this journey? Changes. Changes, changes, it'll in some ways, right? They're gonna shake up your world a little bit because some of these changes for some of you Scorpios are gonna be pretty substantial, pretty serious. But they're all beautiful. Beautiful changes. What makes some beautiful changes, Scorpio? That's kind of a test question, right? You do. You do by managing your energy now, right? Living a life of gratitude deep sense of appreciation for all of your experiences in life, past, present, and future. For many of you Scorpios, this graduation, this completion brings you a time of rest, rest and recuperation, a time of reflection too, right? That's kind of what I'm feeling more of than anything in this card is this is reflection. This is inner reflection. This is you taking time to recognize your inner beauty, to recognize and feel this journey that you've been on and all the growth that you've experienced from it, bringing you the energy of the Empress, right? This high feeling of sense of self-love, acceptance, it's beautiful. making this energy dissipate completely. This card coming up, right? I think it's reminding you, Scorpio. I think this is past for so many of you, but this is reminding you of the significance of this specific energy that was experienced in your journey, right? What this meant, the growth, your takeaway from this. It's beautiful. You're healed. Okay, Scorpio, I think I'm done. Man, you, had a, you guys had a beautiful tarot read. 
Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity. Thank you for all the comments, likes, subscribes, and shares. I read all of them. I respond back to most of them. I love connecting with your energies. I love hearing your stories. I love learning that you're connecting with these truths and these reads. You're finding your truth and your story here. I love that. Um, thank you for all the beautiful donations, right? This is what I do. This is how I live. So I can't thank you guys enough. Donations, large or small, they make a huge difference for me. Namaste. Also, this is a general read for the collective. I do do personal reads. I want to thank all of you who have ordered personal reads. I love providing those for you guys. Um, if you're interested in a personal read that pertains to you specifically, uh, it could be a much more interesting read. It's a fun experience. I encourage you to try it out. Send me an email in the description below. It has my email address, but it's uh, tarotloveandabundance at gmail. For $40, I send you a 30-minute private link uh, to your own personal read. Okay, guys. Beautiful read. You have an exciting April ahead of you. Wishing you the very best. Thank you.